Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell, so you won't miss any new video like this in the future. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the great features of Inkscape that you can apply in your design. Did you know that in Inkscape, you can actually use copyright-free images from online resources in your design without having to download and store the images in your computer? This is a great feature because you can save your time downloading the image and also save your storage hard disk for other things. Let me show you how. First of all, I'm going to insert one image from my own computer. So, I go to File and Import and then locate any image that I'd like to use. For example, I'd like to use this image. I just need to double-click the image and in the appearing box here, I'm going to select Link for Import Image Type, rather than Embed. This will import the image as a link, not embedded one in my document. Once the image has been imported, I can right-click on the image, click the image properties to bring up the object attributes panel. In the URL box here, I can see the exact location address of my image in my computer. So, if I'm going to use an online image, all I need to do is to replace this URL address with the URL address of any online image. Now I'm going to find any copyright free image from an online image provider such as pexels.com. I can also go to other similar websites like pixabay.com, unsplash.com, etc. Please just make sure that you're allowed to use the image in your project. Once I find an image that I like, I right-click the image and then I click Copy Image Address. I then go back to my Inkscape to replace the original image URL with the one that I've just copied. Once I replaced the original URL address with the one of online image, the original image will also be replaced with the new one. It may take some time for the program to fetch the image, depending on some factors like image size, internet connection and computer speeds. This feature also works for a clipped image. I'm now going to clip this image with a circle shape. I insert a circle on top of the image, I select both the image and the circle, and under object I select clip and set. Clipping the image does not change the image URL address. I can replace this clipped image with another one from any online source. I just need to repeat the steps before. With a clipped image, you may need to readjust the clipping position to get the best result. To do that, I need first to release the clipping by going back to Object, Clip and Release. I then make necessary adjustment as to the position of the image against the circle shape as the clipper. Once I satisfied with the clipping position, I reclip the image again. So, that's how you can use an online image in Inkscape without having to download and store the image on your computer. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Take care and see you in the next video.